Hi, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Thanks. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in the last video we have implemented PayPal payment into our application and I think it's time to deploy our Laravel application to the shared hosting server. So we will be using share hosting cPanel to upload our Laravel application and deploy our application on the internet. So let's just open up our application first before we start the deploying. Okay, so let's just run our server on our local machine. Serve. And let's just run Okay, so this was the way how we uh, did our development. So we used uh, our PHP Artisan Surf command to, to create a virtual server on our local machine. And we used npm run watch to comply our CSS and JavaScript UJS files during the development. So if we open up our local host, this is what we done. I already deleted uh, our database, so that's why we can't see any uh, categories and subcategories and stuff like that. So on the local machine, localhost PHP my admin. If you check my backlink app, as you can see, the user and uh, domains and categories table, everything is. empty now. Okay, so during the development you probably have uh, user and uh, domains registered of course. So in order to do uh, a brand new fresh uh, migration file uh, you need to run PHP artisan migrate fresh command. Okay, so PHP artisan Fresh. If you run that command, then you should see something uh, like this with empty user, empty domain category and subcategory. Okay, so we have our fresh uh, migration files now. Okay, so let's just uh, export these uh, tables. So on the top you should see if you are in your uh, backlink app table click on export and go and it should download it to your local machine so you get this backlink app.sql file we will use it later on let's close this up okay so at the moment uh, we are running npm run watch to comply to detect any changes on uh, in our code base and we recomply the JavaScript, uh, the JavaScript and uh, CSS files. As you can see at the moment, our JavaScript is 1.97 megabyte, and our C CSS file is 178 kilobyte. But of course, when we deploy our application, we would like uh, our CSS and JS files as small as possible. So let's just stop this npm run watch with control C and type in npm run prod, which means production. Hit enter. And these files should be smaller at this time. Right, okay, so as you can see before, our CSS file was 178 kilobyte. Now our app.css file only 15 kilobyte. And uh, our JS file was one point, nearly two megabytes, and now it's only 631 kilobyte. So it's a big change in, in terms of file sizes much better for your page load and stuff like that. 
So you need to do npm run prod, which means npm run production. Both commands would work. Okay, so our files are smaller now. Uh, I'm using GoDaddy as my hosting provider. I'm already logged in to my cPanel at uh, GoDaddy. Okay, so first of all, we need to create our database for our application. And probably if you go to PHP my admin, you don't have any database here. I already have two, but I just create uh, one more for for teaching purposes. So let's go back and go to MySQL databases. And here you can easily create new database uh, and new user and you can connect the user to the database as well. Okay, so first of all, I, let's just open our project in the VS Code. Add. Okay, so here is our Laravel application and if you go to .env file, as you can see we have database name, username and password. So we need to create the database. So let's call our database on the shared hosting server, same as we did in the development, or you can, you can name it whatever you want, but uh, make sure uh, these, tools, these two uh, values are matching. So if you change something here, then you need to call your application, uh, your database Okay, so let's hit create database. We need to wait a little bit. That you can see, we have just created our backlink app database, go back. And if you check now our PHP my admin, you can see we have this freshly created database, which is absolutely empty. Okay, let's go back to MySQL databases and create a new user. So if we have created our database here and if you scroll down, we can add a new user. So let's create our user for this database. Okay, so I call my user our pro user and one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five as our password. Of course, you need to use a better password, but for teaching purposes, this will be do it now. Okay. Let's create this user. Our user is created. And don't forget to type in into your .env file as well. Pro user, and you need to give the password as well, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's just save this .env file as it is. And now we need to, as you can see, here is our uh, database, but no user attached to this database. So let's just attach the database and the user together. Okay, so let's just select our pro user. And this is the database, what we want to connect together. Click add, select our privileges and make changes. Let's go back. And if you check your brand new database has a user now, our pro user, just like in our .env file. And now if you go back to cPanel, PHP my admin, you see your freshly created database, click on it. And we need to click on import select a file and at the very beginning of this video we have just saved our tables from our local machine select this file click on go we got this error but you should uh, just ignore it as you can see we have the user table the subcategories, categories, and domains table. As we just expected and as we needed to our application. Okay, so that's it for the database part. 
Let's go to the file manager. And if you want, you can check our public folder CSS. As you can see, it's only 16 kilobytes now and the JS file is only 631 kilobytes. So you should see something similar to this one if you log into your cPanel and you should go to the public HTML. And of course, I already have installed my application, but uh, you just need to delete everything from your public HTML and go to your local machine, go inside your project, and we need to copy everything from the public file to the public HTML on the server. So just go inside your public folder, select everything, right click, send to compressed file, click on it. As you can see, we have the zipped file now. And inside the public folder, just click on upload, select file. Inside our application folder, go to the public, select our zipped file, double click, go back. We have this uh, css.zip file now, and you should click on extract, and everything will be extracted to the inside to this folder. Okay. So our public, uh, public folder is done and uploaded. Now we need to upload everything else but the public folder. So just select everything and deselect the public folder and do the same. Just click with the right click and send it to compressed zipped file. And you know, you, you need to go back to the, to the shared hosting and go back to the root folder and just add folder and you can name it whatever you want. You can call it Laravel or you can go, you can call it up or whatever you want. I called my folder get link app as you can see here. And as you can see, I have everything here except the public folder. So basically you just need to upload your compressed file here and extract it. And you should see something similar to this one with our env file as well. Okay, so if you done that, you copied all the public files to the public HTML and your basically your level application into the created folder. Then you need to do one more thing. You need to go to the public HTML and we need to edit the index.php. You can edit in your cPanel. Just click on edit, edit. And we need to edit these two lines. So at the moment we are inside the public HTML and we editing the index.php. And uh, if you check it in our application, if you go to the public and index.php, if you scroll down, here you can see the two lines we need to edit. You can see the uh, difference between them. Basically, we need to create one more slash and we need to point to the folder where we put our Laravel uh, application. So it's in my case, get link app. And I have to do exactly the same over here as well. Of course, I'm deleting here because it's on my local machine and we don't need this extra 
stuff over here but as you can see you need to point to the folder where you placed our uh, your uh, laravel application you need to save changes and close so now this index.php file is pointing to this outside folder so the front end can communicate with the uh, laravel application and that should be it you should you should be able to open up your project in the browser now just like i have my application deployed on the on the internet so if you need any help just let me know in the comment i try to help you thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't done it yet bye